We're now going to look at donning and doffing your side mount cylinders. Now the first time you do this, until you build confidence and competency, you should not move into deeper water. You should stay standing where you can easily um, manage the cylinders and if you were to drop one, of course you can just retrieve it easily. I think side mount divers get a bad name and this is a lot to do with the reason of not donning and doffing the cylinders correctly and it taking too much time either on a boat or on land to get this right. So if you follow what's in this workshop you'll avoid all these problems. Everything with the left cylinder the right hand assists and the left hand does. So right hand holds first stage, left hand clips up cylinder bolt snap. Now when it comes to holding the bolt snap, I like to put my third finger through. My index finger becomes like a guide. My thumb opens the bolt snap. This technique and what bolt snap size to use, I cover in full during the cylinder setup video. The right hand holds around the first stage with the regulator hose split between the fingers. So you want to stretch the bungee down towards the hip, out, the left hand pulls the cylinder valve up to help, keeps the distance shorter. The right thumb then goes around the extension post. Make sure you're using the correct hands to do everything as I'm showing. Orientate the hose, hold the first stage, you can see there the correct positioning. Once you're underwater, it's a good idea to practice unbunging and rebunging in the cylinder. A good tip is that when you bungee in, now we'll take a look at donning the right cylinder. This time, left hand assists and the right hand does. For details on how to clip off the regulator correctly, I cover that in my regulator switching workshop video. Undo the bungee and then this is the correct way to hand off the cylinder to somebody on a boat and they could have access to the back of the valve shown here.